Hey guys, we went camping and we finally put our tent together. This is one, this is number two. This was a challenge, I won't lie, because uh, this ground is really not prepared for putting up tents. These things that need to go into the ground, these, it was really difficult to put together. We had so many mishaps, we went uh, to the camp last night, couldn't put up the tent, so we struggled with, with just one tent. Today we had a, like a handyman come in, he had to literally drill a hole to put it inside. Then these things, you don't see them, but they're actually holding the tent together, they broke two of them. We had to use duct tape to put them together. I mean, honestly, I was already giving up, but we managed to put it together. So hopefully we're able to stay here for a few days. So we're in Istria, in Bale. This is uh, Camp Bonperin, which I had really good experience with last time. Although we had some jellyfish. I will link here what that looked like, like freaking aliens. And since we got here, it's been a bit weird because the ground is not prepared for tents we're not happy with that then in the morning cafes were supposed to open at eight o'clock and we couldn't have coffee because they just decided it wasn't gonna be open at eight i don't know what to say i wish i could have some good reviews for you guys but honestly don't think i would recommend this uh this is possibly good for someone with a camper as you can see we have a lot of campers around and that works this ground is okay for that but to put up a tent like this don't come here really don't come here you are going to struggle you will need equipment i haven't camped in a long time and this tent hasn't been used for a really long time so we really came a little bit unprepared thinking it was gonna be easy we don't have the equipment so yeah it's a little bit of a bummer so now we're freaking exhausted and we're gonna go for a swim on the beach the beach is right there so that's the good news uh, we're gonna show you but also <laughs> we have to say about about the beaches the entrance is not that great uh, you have to cross a lot of rocks to get into the sea uh, and hopefully you don't step on a sea urchin and you don't kill yourself on these uh, <laughs> rocks there is a nice beach really close by but unfortunately our dog cannot uh, go there so we have to go to the dog beaches that's the update we're gonna be here for a few days so yeah let's see as you can see we are right by the beach it's a lot of rocks, I won't lie, it's not easy access. We're just going to the doggy beach, we'll see how it goes. I mean, it is a beautiful camp, it's very clean, very well organized, actually quite spacious, it's pretty cool. Well, the sea is lovely, so we're gonna have a swim. I think in the next few days we're gonna probably explore a little bit outside the camp, because this is really not ideal for us, unfortunately. Hopefully we'll be able to sleep well in the tent. <laughs> we'll see you tonight. Hi guys, we went to the other side of the camp where is the dog beach that we like and that we went to last time. Uh, I will link that vlog here somewhere. <laughs> Let me show you this cool place. They have really lovely messages. I'm in this very special area this is uh, some kind of a construction here and when you step into the circle you actually hear yourself your own voice uh, when you speak like you're in a chamber it's a very interesting experience so I'm gonna stand here oh my god <laughs> I don't know you cannot hear it because it's kind of changing your own frequency it's uh, an individual experience so nobody else can hear it except for the person who is standing inside so this is a construction that has been apparently made I felt like it was some kind of an energetic thing but apparently it's been made and we don't know why it's been made but it's definitely an interesting phenomenon so I wanted to share this with you and it's in this beautiful location and we just decided to check it out. I've been here many years before and just decided to share it with my friends. It's our last day, uh, mostly we've been just on this one beach kind of relaxing most of the time so I didn't film and we're just gonna drive around on our way back to Zagreb and check out a few more places. <laughs> Let's go! Hi guys, we actually decided to check out this other beach but it's 
kind of busy so we're just gonna see if we're gonna stick around the weather's kind of weird and then we'll explore more of Istria later uh, we actually decided to stop and check out this waterfall and the lake let's see what it looks like wow that's cool it's very small barely got a bit closer we're gonna try and go swim here it's a little bit yeah crazy <laughs> i mean let's give it a go close enjoying it <laughs> hey Chloe. <laughs> hey guys this was totally worth it it was amazing look at this there's actually a cave over there see actually quite great to be there it's really refreshing very cool because we've been really sticky about being on the road we have a few more hours still Zagreb so it's gonna make this trip a lot easier yay we did it <laughs> we're on the other side let me show you That's what it looks like on this side we have the river I think Chloe's having fun <laughs>